Hey viewers, I'm back with another free video. So here I will discuss about different BI tools which is covered in BI reporting section. To know more, you can check the course details of our website ETL testing tutorial. And if you have any query regarding the free video, you can speak your mind under the QA section. So before we proceed forward to this topic, let me resolve some of the queries that may come in your mind. So first of all, what is BI and what are BI tools? See, BI stands for Business Intelligence. That means, whenever we take out intelligence out of the business data, that is known as BI. So what BI tools does is, BI tools analyze the data, the present data to take decisions in the future or in the current situation. So let us take a look on the ETL process to understand the concept of BI as well as BI tools. So here we are extracting data from different different data sources and those sources can come in different different formats as I have listed out over here. Like the first one is flat file, other one is Oracle, next one is SQL and the other one is Google Sheet. And then we are putting our data in a staging area to get the data validated. And then the validated data is passed in the data warehouse with the help of the ETL tool. Okay. Now, here the cleanse data is being stored. Now we just need to pass the data to generate the reports. And how are we going to generate the reports? When, see, let me explain you. Up to here, it is known as business data. Why this is known as business data? Let me explain you. See what is happening. We are we are consuming all the raw data. Then we are validating that data. After the data gets validated, it is converted into business data. And when we take out intelligence from this business data, intelligence out of business data so that very process will be known as generating the reports that means report generating so how are we gonna do this how are we gonna generate the reports with the help of a tool that is bi tool so here the generations the report generations is being done with the help of a bi tool so why the reports are generated? Basically, the reports are generated to visualize the data so that the business decisions could be made. Now, what kind of business decisions are expected? See, if I take an example of sales data. Within sales data, what kind of queries may arise? Like, which product is more in demand? or which is less in demand so to resolve these kind of queries we need to visualize the data to generate the report so that according to those reports these kind of queries could be resolved right so here we come to know that the business intelligence tools are all about helping you understand that what is in the trend and deriving insights from your data so that you can make tactical and strategical or strategic business decisions. But how do you come to know that which intelligence tool or which BI tool is perfect for you to achieve your goals? So basically it depends on the features that are provided by different different tools. Now, how can we figure out that which tool is perfect for us? So, keeping all those things in my mind, I listed out all the features, the most important BI features that include ranking reports, what if analysis, interactive reports, pivot tables should be generated within a BI tool, geospatial mapping should be done, ad hoc reports could be generated, we could, be, uh, we could create dashboards, open integration could be done. So, all these features should be covered within a single BI tool. 
you should cover only that very tool okay so advanced features are typically viewed uh, viewed as amenities but not necessity so but basic features are mostly viewed or we can say desired so following these kind of features we listed out seven bi tools let me show you all of them or we can see six top bi tools one is the clip folio thought spot domo tableau is there and power bi ibm cognos but if i say the tableau is the most popular and leading bi tool presently it has the best visualization capabilities with a perfect front end graphical user interface so you must include this bi tool for generating the reports because this bi tool is covering all the features in it okay so hope you have got it and thank you for joining